All right, it's the magician back here again. After our little run in with uh, level 63 in uh, Tower of Frosty Shadows, I figure I better run some dailies, get some more levels. I think it was level 51 at the time. I don't think that's going to work. So here we are in the deep. I'm running a daily. We have, however, um, little chance of getting to where the daily is on this one right now. I could try to go invisible, um, but there are a few really bad things that I can see invisible here and there. So I've been getting a few AAs, which I now can get at level 51, uh, currently level 53, but getting a few AAs out of the way. Um, like um, need run speed, so it's not quite the speed of uh, Spirit of Wolf, I think, but it's close, and it's a lot faster than not having it. So we're grounding out a few levels here. Now there is a benefit to this. Uh, there is one item here that is the quest chain. I like to do for some gear. So hopefully I can get that. So not completely wasted, but I have grind up six AAs and two levels. So we're just killing up the zone in so far. These are some uh, fairly significant mobs here from Blue Pond. They uh, make me hurt. But we got some upgraded DD spells since uh, the last time I talked. Charge gives about a thousand points damage. Not only good day. Thousand and five hit points. Not bad. It however does drain mana fairly quickly. As you can see, my tank is taking significant damage from these. These just two mobs. There's one spot down here. If they see you, you're gonna have like six or seven on you. And just take my word for it. They work. I think playing on a numb paid account, I'm pretty sure that my mercenary would just run away howling in fear. Which is one of the big differences between the paid ones and the free account one. So you gotta be careful here. See this thing right there? First, my CMT is on Lucid Chart. It has a very unique property. Lore, no trade, no destroy. I have an account that have a backpack full of these in the bank account, but I can't get rid of it. Now they were for quests that used to be important, but no longer is. I believe you no longer have to get keyed for the soul that that was part of the key. Can't remember what soul that was. I should look that up. Maybe I still need it. But chances are this is the Valius expansion. If you need a key to get to it, nobody's going there anymore. But we have Google. Let's see. EQ usage card. Okay, so it's quick key to Vex Tal. How are you pronounced that? So you need 10 different ones to be able to open that song from 10 different songs, I believe. Anyways, we don't need it. That's the main thing. And you can't drop it, which is annoying. So you see my mono regen's fairly good these days. Hit point on my Mercenary, however, does not. I don't think there's anything to increase his... I can increase health, but I don't think I can increase... how fast to regenerate. Granted, if you have more hit points, it's less to regenerate. But he has 8,500 hit points already. Let's say I only regenerate 34 hit points per tick so every 6 seconds, which isn't much when you have 8,500 hit points. In other words, doing hard mobs like this, there's a lot of waiting. 
welcome to request. Now the trick of course is to burn mod at the appropriate rate. But a couple of new spells, some nice ones, like uh, I can now do the damage shield for all of them at the same time, except for my pet. Kind of sucks, but he's just not going to get it. But good. Yeah, he's just not going to get aggro. Hear that? Zonar, no aggro for you. Anyways, currently XP is going to level. There are not a whole lot of AAs that are worth really working on at level 55. Um, some of us like his combat utility and combat stability. The forecaster, eh. If you get aggroed that hard, you're probably dead. But, you know, if you have time and want to grind out some they're not bad. In my personal opinion. Your mileage may wear. Alright, here you go. Next two. Now, that one is rooted, so we're just going to switch over to this guy. Nice thing with this song is that as you get more powerful, it's fairly easy to move further in and kill more mobs per time you had to mend, so it's easy to scale it up. It you get easier, of course, you get less appearance per mob, but it stays blue fairly far in here for the long run. So, obviously, this is the hot zone at the moment. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be here. The zone is not particularly interesting. Let's see, I'm taking some of the damage. My poor tank is still taking pretty good damage. That's okay. That's it. Um, I did take uh, AA that makes so I can do bandages up until 90%. So I can't ban it further up, which is useful. We have absolutely no healing ability. Let's see if that guy's gonna be So yeah, so maybe I should summon some bandages and start doing some healing. How funny is that? That one we don't really need. Great item. I need to summon mass bandages. I know I have 55 down here, but those are just for emergencies, like when I forget to summon bandages. Now I could have grabbed a knife that I found in Tower of Frozen Shadow that had, uh, <laughs> had summon bandages. You, you hit it and uh, you have a chance of Procking summon bandages, which is kind of funny. So currently 152, so that means that I'm healing like 36 hit points every time I use one bandage. Here's one reason why I like to try to get it up because it just means you can heal more. You never know when you're gonna need some healing. Anything one more? Try one more. Like I was in Tower of Frozen Shadow and I had a damage or time spell on me that was doing 100 hit points every six seconds and I barely managed to get alive by actually healing myself. Advantages. It was kind of fun. Of course, it means you're not getting mana back as fast when you're standing up as when you're sitting. So, now that's a good question though. If I used a mount, you could meditate sitting on a mount. Can
can I apply bandages on the mount? I don't know. I'll try that. Oh, that music is also loud. Turn on the music a little bit. Yeah. It's easy to get ads here. There are some mobs are walking around, but it's close to the zone. If I need to, go to the zone. Some assist, never a bad thing. So we can get that on before I get attacked here. More hit points is more better, always. Regardless of what class you're playing. It's one thing that'll kill you, and that's running out of hit points. Let's see what else up here. Yeah, let's just see. I'm gonna get two magic D's. That's all right. We can handle it, I think. First, now, Earth Elemental is not necessarily the best pet. You see me using it because a lot of mobs run and it has the chance of rooting, which is nice. My nerves are bad. Had that happen in Sibelius yesterday, where I suddenly had, I think, four, five, six mobs on at some point. Things get exciting very quickly. So, still getting 1.7% hit points, even for a light blue, so that's nice. We get like 2.7 for this, maybe. And don't think it's one off that one. 1.9, so some lower level blue con. This mushroom might be up already. Yep. So we'll just let him chase us back here. So we only get one. This is a problem. You can't get spell on. Uh, so we just let. Yeah, we'll just let him. Her. We we'll apply the damage shield. So at least the damage shield is doing some extra damage. What if I can apply bandage while they're fighting? I never try that. Let's try it. You might get aggro from healing with bandages. Now that would be funny. Let's 
Yeah, that's it works. Cool. Learn something new. So I could do more points in first aid. Next point would get me up to 100%, and then after that, you start to heal more per bandage. So while you're racing skill, that wouldn't be good. 100% wouldn't be bad. You might do that at level 54. I do want the higher healing, but not while I'm leveling the skill up, because that means I don't have as many bandages. I would speed up leveling a little bit, but... We'll do this the hard way. So every four points in Bind Wound normally is one hit point healed. So I can't remember what the max first hit was up to. It's quite a bit of a multiplier. Get her to like 75 maybe, then sit down and meditate. Couple more. So let's see, so how many kills do we need? 2.1%, uh, so let's say we average two. Yeah, we only need 32 more kills. Yay. But we do need to go to spells after this one. After this one. So it looks like that's 75 to 80 percent hit points. Works out fairly well. Cool. One more experiencing. points out of the thousand twenty possible. That uh, sucks. completely resisted. Ah, what level is this one? Ah, level 51. That's why I should have put it. Enter resistance spell on it. Let's do that. I don't know. Even though it's late, but it might be a runner. Yep. So I want that dead before it gets over to the next one. Luckily my pet does wounded it. up a little bit. This also has the benefit of spreading this out a little bit more, hopefully, between kills.
Alright, now level 50, so we'll start with enter resist spell on it. Hopefully it takes. It does. That's a good thing. Wow, G level 50 is well, that's unusual. We will nuke. We will nuke hard. See, so shriekers are hitting. I bet my uh, mercenary for over 100 points. At least every time they do, they get they take 25 damage. That's something. See, they hit me for a lot more. <laughs> I might need to look at upgrading some gear here in the next couple of levels, I think. But no reason to do it before you have to. So I get my defense skills up as well. I suppose it's needed. See, I nuked a lot harder, so I have a lot less mana than she has his point, but we'll heal her up a little bit. I don't know what the max skill is in that. Let's see. 290. Alright, so we got a few points to go. I think this is going to be a short episode to not be all I record today. We'll try to get level 54 here, and then maybe level 54 we'll try to go in deeper, see if we can get the daily done, and record that. So it's quite a journey to get in there. So, see you later. Take care.